<clears throat> Hello, my awesome fifth grade reading class. Uh, this is Mr. Borzusko. I uh, I will be doing my first read aloud today. Um, the read aloud is in English, but before we get started, I want to let you guys, I want to show you guys where I will be posting our read alouds at. Uh, so I'm going to put them in the fifth grade, uh, reading, writing, fifth grade, Mr. Bodisco. I know I have a bunch of, uh, different pages on my website, on my home, on my Canvas homepage. I will try my best to put an announcement on there and let you guys know what I've done. If not, I will send you guys a remind, uh, text message. Okay. Oh, also... I posted the first social studies uh, assignment. It is not due until next Wednesday. It is going to be under social studies and it is gonna be over the Great Depression. It's a very small video. And if you go under the social studies uh, canvas section, show you where this is at. Social studies. We are on here and I believe it's under announcements right at the top. Click on it. And the link to the page is right there, and the six questions are at the bottom. Okay, now, um, the website that I went to is worldbook.com. Uh, I have access to it. I don't know if I can allow you guys to have access to it. They shared it with me, the district did, and now apparently we get it for free. If we are allowed to share it with you guys, I will give you guys the website and let you guys have access, or the username and the password, and I'll let you guys have access to it. Now, what I really like about this website is that it has a bunch of different books and it goes by like section. Uh, These are the ones that I recently reviewed, my favorites, animals all that good stuff as biographies uh health and human body and what i'm going to be doing today is mythology legends and folktale uh <clears throat> the read aloud is fairy tales and stories anthology of stories and poems uh, before we get started on the story that i'm going to read uh if you look on the left side <clears throat> It has the home book. It has the home uh, button over here on the left hand side. Here we have our table of contents. Uh, it shows you the cover. That's the cover, obviously, right there. Uh, one story, two stories, three stories, four stories, five stories, six stories, seven stories, and then you have our index at the end, like any other different uh, book. Uh, we have the data, search, pen. All that other good stuff. So the story that I'm going to read today is called The Little Red Hen. Um, I know we're home right now and we probably don't want to do nothing. We might think that this is a vacation, but this is not a vacation. This is how learning will be done for a while now. We do not know for how long, um, but I hope you guys get to enjoy, you know, our little stories and uh, get the theme at the end of the story and throughout this uh, reading read aloud that I'm going to do I will be asking you guys certain questions. Hopefully you guys you know are with me still So here we go The little red hen a traditional story Once upon a time there was a little red hen. She lived with a dog a duck and a cat They all lived in a house which the little red hen kept clean and teeny the others never helped. Hmm. Although they said they meant to, they were all far too lazy. The dog liked to snooze in the shade. The duck used to swim in the pond all day. And the cat enjoyed lying in the sun, purring. One day, the little red hen found a grain of wheat. Who will, who will plant this grain of wheat? She asked. Not I barked the dog from a shady spot in the garden. Not I, quacked the duck from her pond. Not I, purred the cat from his place in the sun. So the little red hen found a nice bit of earth, stretched it with her feet, and planted the grain of wheat. During the summer, the grain of wheat grew. First it grew into a tall green stalk, then it ripened in the sun until it had turned a lovely golden color. Who will help me cut the wheat? asked the little red hen. Not I, barked the dog from a shady spot in the garden. Not I, quacked the duck from her pond. Not I, purred the cat from his place in the sun. 
Very well then, I will cut it myself, said the little red hen. Carefully, she cut the stalk and took out all of the grains of wheat from the husks. Now, here's a little quick question. Uh, before we start reading, uh, does anybody remember one of the first things that we're supposed to do? Uh, I hope you guys see the text features, and if you do, we'll do uh, comments on the uh, comment section of the where I will put all the announcements. Who will take the wheat to the mill so that it can be ground into flour? Asked the little red hen. Not I, barked the dog from a shady spot in the garden. Not I, quacked the dog from her pond. Not I purred the cat from his place in the sun. So the little red hen took the wheat to the mill herself and asked the miller to grind it into flour. In time, the miller sent the little bag of flour down to the house where the little red hen lived with the dog and the duck and the cat. Who will help me to make the flour into bread? asked the little red hen. Not I, barked the dog from a shady spot in the garden. Not I, quacked the duck from her pond. Not I, purred the cat from his place in the sun. So do you guys see a pattern here? Anytime the chicken needs help, are the other animals helping up? Also, can animals talk? Uh, what type of story is this? Is it fake or non-fiction? Very well, said the little red hen. I shall make the bread myself. She mixed the flour into dough. She kneaded the, the dough and put it into the oven to bake. Soon there was a lovely smell of hot, fresh bread. It filled all the corners of the house and weft, weft, wefted out into the garden. The dog came into the kitchen from a shady spot in the garden. The duck came in from the pond and the cat left his place in the sun. When the little red hen opened the oven door, the dough had risen up and turned into the nicest, most delicious-looking loaf of bread any of them had ever seen. Hmm, funny, all the other animals, now that they smell the awesome food that the chicken made or the piece of bread, all the other animals are coming in. Hmm. Who is going to eat this bread? asked the little red hen. I will. Bark the dog. I will. Bark. Quack the duck. I will. Purr the cat. Oh, no you won't, said the little red hen. I planted the seed. I cut the wheat. I took it to the mill to be made into flour and made the bread all by myself. I shall now eat the loaf all by myself. The dog, the duck, and the cat all stood and watched as the little red hen ate the loaf all by herself. It was delicious and she enjoyed it, right to the very last crumb. So my little badgers, as you are home and your moms or dads are cooking at home, I hope you guys are not just sitting around and if you are, I hope it's because you guys are doing work. So make sure to be helping out around the house or else your mom and dad are going to make some nice delicious food and probably won't share with you. Just kidding. <laughs> Have a great uh, rest of your day, guys. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.